The Russians are storming across the Fulda Gap. Let's take a look at the forces. Brie will be commanding the West Germans today. She will be bringing a core formation of the Martyr Panzer Grenadiers. We've got the HQ of 1G3 team in a, um, a Martyr, a full strength platoon of 3G3s, two Milans, and three Martyrs, a short strength platoon of two G3 teams, a Milan, and two Martyrs, and then a platoon of four Leopard 2s. In formation, we also have two Gepards, two Lukes, three Jaguars, three M109s, and three Panzer Morsers on loan from the Canadians. Uh, second formation, also on loan from the Canadians, we have a Leopard Panzer Troop. Uh, they are Canadian models, but we're running them as West Germans. Uh, we've got one platoon commander, or sorry, one company commander, two platoons of four tanks each, and then in support, we have a Roland Flak Panzer battery with two Rolands and a Fliegerfaust group upgrade, and then a battery of three M20, M127, I think, MLRS. And that will be the West Germans for today's game. The Soviets will be a mixed unit of old and new. So, the new, we have the Afghansi VDV company. We've got the HQ of a Command AK-74 team with a AGS-17, the AGS-17 is mounted in a BTR. I believe it's a BTR. We'll call it BTRs for now until I have a chance to look. And <laughs> the commander is mounted in a BMD-1. We have three platoons each, uh, comprised of three AK teams and three RPG teams, all upgraded to RPG VRs, or RPG-7 VRs, and each platoon has three BMD-1s. We also have the mortar platoon, with two stands of mortars, I can't remember which mortars they are, I'm sorry, and two BTR transports, and then a platoon of five ASU-85s. Uh, these will be using their airborne air landing rules to parachute in at the start of the game, as we are playing a air landing game. Uh, in support, we have a second formation. This is a BMP-2 formation, representing on rushed reserves to support the air landing assault. We have the HQ of one command team mounted on a BMP, Two medium strength BMP 2s with no upgrades except for the RPGs being upgraded to 7 uh, VRs. Uh, a platoon of four T64s, first time we've used those. And uh, a battery of three Carnations. Lastly, in support, we have a flight of four Heinz. That will be today's Soviet force. All right, here we are with the West German deployment prior to the air landing deployments of the Soviets. Uh, we've got an objective on the right flank and the other objective over on the left flank, both defended by trees. We've got most of the infantry of the Martyrs backed up with the Jaguars and the one platoon of Leopard 1s holding that point. We've got the support elements of the West Germans holding that point. Everything will be starting in foxholes if they're infantry, otherwise everything is pinned down and bailed out. Uh, according to the mission, that includes the Soviets after they uh, airdrop. So uh, we'll s figure the air landing deployments and be right back. All right, so uh, the airborne air landing stuff is a little whack. Uh, it's messy, but it's fun. Very messy. So let's quickly go over things. Uh, so we started with the formation command team. Uh, the infantry landed here and their transports landed here. That wasn't too bad. So I think I did the ASU-85s next. They landed, just shy of landing in the tree stands there, so they're good. Next, I did a platoon of infantry, and it decided to land right there, and their transports there. Next platoon landed right beside them. No, that's the other one. Oh. But their transport landed way over there. Uh, then I did the last infantry platoon. They landed here, and their transports landed all the way over there. And then lastly, the uh, mortars which landed just shy of the riverbank, and their transport's here. So I'm pretty scattered. It does kind of track historically, though, for landing forces, supplies, and everything in yeah, airborne with parachute. Stuff never really works out the no. way you want it. No. Uh, what I think I need to do is buy like four more boxes of Heinz and run the helicopter air landing company, because at least then I can control where they're going to land, right, huh? 
He just wants more high I really do. Speaking of, they will start the game on table. The rest of my force will be in reserve. Uh, for Bree, her reserves will be her Leopard 2 platoon, one platoon of Leopard 1s, and the command for the Leopard 1. Uh, and then just, yeah, uh, all my stuff basically is off the table for the rest of it, so the entire BMP2 company. Uh, so we'll get to the first turn. Uh, according to the list of rules, everything on table, as I said before, starts pinned down or bailed out. I believe, based on the wording of my PDF document, that includes my stuff. Uh, so we'll be kicking my turn off basically with lots of motivation checks. Yep, you just have to put in markers for it too. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we'll be back with that. Okay, turn one, Soviet starting step. We're going to start by remounting everything. So we'll start over here with the ASUs. They will remount on a three plus. They all remount. Uh, oh, uh, I forgot, technically the HQ AGL has to be attached out to a platoon, so they're just gonna attach to that platoon. So it's transport is now over here. Speaking of, BTRD over here, does it remount on a three plus? Yep, and then three BMD1s on a three plus. They all remount. So then we got the mortar uh, BTRs. They remount, and the command BMD. It doesn't remount, so I'll have to mark him. I'll just mark him with a pin down for now. Um, those three BTRs over there, or BMDs over there, sorry. Whoa, two of them failed to remount, so that might be a last stand test right off the bat. Oh no, if you wouldn't mind, honey. Yes, my love. Uh, and then we got the last three over there. So one of those fails to remount, and that's those ones just up on the edge of the table there. Once I find a token, uh, we'll just use that token. And then we have some pin checks. So with Commander Reroll here on a three plus, unpins the next platoon right over there, unpins, and the last platoon over there doesn't unpin, and then this platoon here. That's caught. It unpins. Okay. I think that is it for so my start. Oh, I have a last stand test on the transport attachment. Mm -hmm. They failed to unpin. Mm -hmm. uh, they will run away. Interesting. No, they don't. the one that's, yeah, he runs away. The others and become the other wrecks. That's interesting. We'll have First to blend did nothing. Well, we're going to have to ask Battlefront. I'm not sure if maybe my PDF copy wasn't properly proofread. Maybe. So I'm, I'll double check that when I get a chance. But for now, we'll just run it like that. That is a big hamper to my firepower, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. Okay. So despite that uh, bit of a setback, uh, we've maneuvered. I've. Uh, Moved the infantry are trying to get into the buildings there. That platoon has um, organized itself to fire at the Gepards. There we go, brain. Uh, that platoon actually dug in uh, using their away. elite skill of four plus to dig in. Uh, the BMDs in the top there, they stayed stationary. Uh, these BMDs advanced forward with the BTR attached to engage the Lukes, and the ASU 85s have. Um, Formed a firing line basically to target the M109s. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to move on. What? Hines. So I'll be right back with those. Oh, yeah. Can't forget the Hines. There we go. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but uh, I think it's the first time I've used them since our first Team Yankee game. So yep. uh, let's get and to the And I can't do anything base. to them because I'm still bailed out. So yep. uh, I might as well get some I got, hot shots. I got one turn, guys. I got one turn in which to win this game, basically. Let's see what I can do. Yep. All right, going to kick off the shooting step. Going to use my ASU 85s because uh, I love 85 millimeter cannons. Uh, we're going to shoot at your M109s there along the tree. One mm -hmm. of these is going to get a little bit of concealment because of that hill there. Mm -hmm. So it'll be the green die. It'll be hitting on fives. The rest will be hitting on fours. So we're going to get three hits, which is one on each. Uh, now these are anti-tank 14. Your front armor was two. Yep. So they're going to go straight to firepower. Firepower will be three plus. So the front tank or sorry, the front self-propelled gun mm -hmm. on a three plus, destroyed. The middle self-propelled gun, destroyed, and the back self-propelled, destroyed. So that'll be three wrecked M109s. Well, bugger me. Indeed. So we'll just uh, leave these dice here to remind us and we'll move right along. We're gonna shoot the Lukes here. We got three BMD1s and a BTR. Uh, the BTRD has a rate of fire of one on the move. And it'll be the green die. And the BMDs have a rate of fire of something on the move. 
We'll use their 73 millimeter cannon. Be one shot each, not slow firing. Um, they'll be the red. So you are the Lukes, they are not in concealment. Mm -hmm. So hitting you on fours. So we'll get one AGL hit and two of the 73 millimeters. And your front armor on those was two. Mm -hmm. So the BTRD has a fire, or sorry, an anti tank of three. So on a roll of a one, you equal. On a two or three, or two plus, you ignore. Okay. So one. that equals. Mm -hmm. So we'll put it on this one that's already bailed out. Okay. And then one of these on each will be a T12. So you can't stop those ones. So we'll just uh, first off see if I blow you up. So on a three plus on him. Yep. yep. And the other one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we won't even bother with the AGL then. Uh, so they're both dead. Then we got that infantry platoon there. Now I am advancing. Mm -hmm. And I am slow firing on the RPG 7 VRs. Uh, and I'll use the RPG 18s on the other, the AK teams. So 19s AT and 14 AT. Both slow firing, both within range. And your Gepard, your side armor is the same as a Leopard 1. So I think that'll be more than enough. Oh, do they have bazooka skirts? Don't move the camera, just grab your cards. <laughs> and uh, pass them here, please. Let's just double check. I can't remember if uh, the Gepards have bazooka skirts. No, they're just side armor 2. Well, that's a shame. All right, well, side armor 2, as you guys can see. So these RPGs will hurt very well. So we'll do red for the RPG-7 VRs, green for the RPG-18s. I'm slow firing, so I'll be hitting you on fives. I'll get two hits, one and one. Mm -hmm. uh, seven, RPG-7 has an anti-tank of, or sorry, firepower of four plus, and the 18s have a five plus. Uh, I already forgot which one was which. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, red will be the seven on a four plus. Blowing up, and green will be the 18 on a 5 plus. Bails out, which is already bailed out, so they need to make an immediate morale check. Okay. Or a courage check, I think it is, at 4 plus. No. Three. So it scuttles and runs away. Okay. Do do do. So this the first last turn thing, is painful. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. The last thing I have is the Heinz. Uh, I think. I think I'm going to shoot them at the Rollins with their anti-tank guided missiles. I just want to see if your Fliegerfaust has a moving rate of fire, because if it does, it can shoot. It does not. So we'll just go straight to shooting the ATGMs. Oh, what's their range? I may have put them too far away to effectively engage with their ATGMs. So, sorry guys. I know they're in my book somewhere. Eight to twenty inches. Ooh, that might be. It should be. One, two. Yeah, they all have range. Okay, just cool. just have range. All right, so uh, hitting on fours. None. Okay. <laughs> well, They've never my turn. been useful once. Eh, you know, one day they'll they'll work one Why day. Why do you want more? Because I like helicopters. They fly. You watch too much MASH. Yeah, probably. But, all right, so that will be the end of Soviet turn one. We'll move into West German turn one. West German turn one, we've got a uh, starting step to do with a lot of stuff to remount. Uh, where do we want to start, dear? I figure we'll start with the Leopard 1s and move our way across the table. All right, Leopard 1s. you got four of them remounting on a 3+. plus. Yep. Uh, doesn't matter. Just roll them together yeah, and then they fail. We'll just... All, all of right. them fail. No, no, it's a 3+, plus, dear. You oh, rolled two right. threes. Sorry. So two remount. Uh, uh, just take yeah. away two of the tokens. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do those two martyrs there. They remount on a 4+. plus. Nope. Nope. Uh, command martyr. Nope. Nope. And these three martyrs. One. One. Okay. And then we've got three jaguars. We didn't think to look those up. I knew I was forgetting something. Rip. They remount on a four plus. Um, right here. Where am I? Thank you. On a four plus? Yep. 
One, two. All three of them? No, two. Sorry, yeah, two. Okay. And then we've got, uh, so that's everything over here. We've got the three Panzer Morsers over there behind my hinds. You can just sort of see them. They remount on a four plus, three of them. One. So that'll be a last stand on them, unfortunately. Okay. Take the token away, please. And then we got two Rollins on a four plus. One, One. remounts. That'll also be a last stand. And then uh, the three Mars. One. So that'll be a last stand on them. So that's not looking great for you. Then we got nope. some rallies. Uh, four plus to unpin the Fliegerfaust. Yep, yep, so they unpin. Uh, four plus to unpin the larger Panzer Grenadier platoon. Yep. Four plus to unpin the smaller Panzer Grenadier platoon. Yep, and to unpin the command team. Yep, all right, so that unpins all the infantry. So uh, then we got some last stand tests to make. Uh, we got a last stand. We don't have the last stand on her transports uh, because they're within command distance of the infantry. They just use the infantry for their uh, last stand. Mine had to last stand because they deployed separately from the infantry during the airdrop. And until they move into command distance again, they're uh, treated as separate units. Uh, so it's just the Panzer Morsers first. They are a, going to be a three plus, the last stand, I think. Oh, it might help if I look at the right card. It's four plus, sorry. Four plus. Just okay. one. Just one. So no. they'll flee, and then the flak panzers, we'll roll them too right now. Oops. They'll be on a four plus. They'll stick, they stick around. around. All right, so we'll mark the M113 Panzer Morsers with the Rex pulled off the extra, and then we'll be back with the movement. A very exciting movement. Um, I moved two tanks. Yep. That's it. Unfortunately, everything's pretty pinned. Uh, she didn't have nearly as good of a morale step as me, so um, yeah, we'll uh, get into the shooting. Yep. All right, so. Um, to start off my shooting, I suppose we're going to shoot the Leopard 1s at the infantry. The um, my mortars? Yes, please. All right, so I am VDV or Afghansi VDV, so my hit is 4 plus. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's just four shots because you got two tanks firing, plus one because you're out of command. So hitting me on a 5 plus. Three, two hits. Two hits. Two All right. Hits. Uh, these don't have brutal, unlike the Canadian ones, so it'll just be straight up saves on a 3 plus. Oh. Bye. Well, fine then. I won't use man pack gun teams for the first time in Team Yankee ever. Sorry. And I think that means my transports just uh, zip away. Uh, all right. So um, what else were we doing? Uh, the... Right. The EMG3 teams. You got two yep. of them. Just have enough range and line of sight and whatnot to shoot at my dug-in infantry there. Okay. Uh, so you got uh, three shots each. So six shots. Hitting me on fives because I'm dug in, thus on the ground. Or sorry, thus concealed. Two hits? Two hits. Okay, uh, any two teams? Both AK teams, okay. So three is to save, both save. Then you're gonna shoot your Milans up at my helicopters. So because they're not guided the AA, they suffer the plus one penalty because they're rated far one. So hitting me on fours for the Heinz. Nope. No. All right. So then we want to shoot your Fliegerfaust group first, because mm -hmm. I think is what you said. Uh, so it's got a rate of fire of three. Getting two hits. So I get two saves. I think they save on a four plus. I'll roll and find out. Um, yeah. Save on a four plus. So one saves, one fails. That'll be a firepower of five plus to confirm the destruction. It yep. kills one, and then your Rollins. Uh, well, your Roland. Roland. It's got three shots. One hit. Uh, four plus save. That's cocked. And it's got a four plus firepower. So that's two Heinz destroyed. Um, that hurts. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to shoot, huh? Um, but, 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 but uh, I don't think anything else really has range or. Uh, line of sight right now, so I think that's it. All right, on to Soviet turn two. 
All right, turn two Soviets. Going to start with some remounts. Going to remount him on a 3+. plus. Yep. Going to remount that one over there on a 3+. plus. Yep. And unpin that infantry on a 3+. plus. No. Ah, it was worth trying. You tried. All right, uh, so we'll three. move on to our movement step. Okay, so uh, movement. Uh, first thing I did is I attempted a blitz. Now, uh, VVV Afghansi have a 3 plus skill, so uh, he actually. He did succeeded. the thing. Oh, wait, sorry, they're 4 plus. But he still did the thing, uh, which is remarkable. Uh, helicopters shifted over here, trying to get away from the Rolands and the Fliegerfaust. Um, my one infantry platoon occupied the buildings, transports moved over. That infantry platoon has pushed forward with its transports moving up, trying to clear off that point. The ASU 85s are encroaching from the flank. Uh, so we'll be right back after we move into shooting. Okay, so starting the shooting step, I'm actually going to try this uh, command, charge, uh, command BMD shot at the Leopard 1s. Uh, it's a, what is it, a spandrel? Kind of hard to see him from this angle. It's but a Sager missile. Yeah, he's right here. Yeah. Sager missile, AT3 against, uh, well, it's AT21, but it, sorry, it's an AT5 span. No, it's an AT3 span. Oh my god. I can't remember what the names of these things. His anti tank got a missile. I'm going to shoot it at the Leopard tanks. We're going to hit you on a 4 plus. We're going to miss. <laughs> All that buildup. Heinz are going to target. The command tanks, uh, but first, what is the range on your Fliegerfaust and your Rollins? Because you do have the option to AA before I fire. Um, Roland, the range is 56 inches. Okay, you know what? Instead of doing that first, I'm, uh, I'm going to shoot the Rollins first. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we got uh, three BMD-1s over on that flank in support of my infantry platoon. Uh, we're going to use their 73 millimeter cannon to shoot the Rollins. Uh, wait, the Roland? Yeah, I killed one of those. We just forgot to mark them. Oh, whoops. That's ah, okay. Um, we got three shots hitting you on a four plus. We got three hits. Put your side armor. Um, side is one. Okay, we'll be. Uh, oh, your front's three, so it doesn't matter because my AT's 12. So three up to blow you up. Kaboom! And then we got three AK-74 teams. They're going to shoot at the Fliegerfaust. Two. I think the rate of fire three, but do they have range? No, the range is eight, so I'm not actually within range, am I? Oh, no, I am. Okay, one, two, three. So nine shots. Mm -hmm. Hitting you on fives because you're concealed. One, two. Uh, what's your infantry save on the Fliegerfaust group? Um... Three plus? Yes. Two saves, please. You fail one, so now I need a six up to blow you up. Which I don't get. Alright, what was his range? <laughs> Whose range? The Fliegerfaust. The Fliegerfaust? Um, 48. 48, okay. So now I'll shoot the Heinz because I can't kill him. So take three shots, hit me on fours. Or hit me on three, sorry. Two hits. I'll save one, and you get a five-up firepower to destroy the other. No. All right, so that gets effectively ignored. So then I've got two shots coming down at your leopards, mm -hmm. hitting you on fours. Two hits. One and one, and then their AT firepower, because their anti-tank is so powerful, their firepower is a three plus. So on this front tank, Blows them up, and on the back tank, blows them up. Okay. So okay, I'm out of flux, so we'll be right back after we do some marking. Okay, so uh, last thing to do, we've got the ASUs. They didn't really have anything else to shoot at. I kind of put them in a bad spot. They're gonna take the very concealed hull down shots on your M270s mm -hmm. or M277s or whatever they are. My Mars. Uh, so we got three shots. You're concealed, hitting on fives. Two hits. Uh, just go straight to firepower because your front armor is apparently a zero. Yeah, okay. Yep. I'll blow one up, bail out the other. All right, so we'll move into us German turn two. Okay. Take us through it. All right, so some remounts first. Uh, we'll start on the Jaguar. Yeah, the, the one, one gun, guy. I think. On a four. Nope. nope. 
Okay, so he stays out. And then those two murders there on a three, Oops. I think it was. No, they were on a four. They were on a four. Yeah. They get in. Okay. All right. Uh, Thank you. The command jaguar. Jaguar. Sorry, martyr. Martyr. Yeah. Still gets in. Yeah, and then the last two martyrs in that attachment there. No. Nope. All right, and then your two Mars. What's their courage? Four plus, so nope. I think it's that, or it's their morale. What's their morale? Morale is three. What's the top one? Top is courage. Okay, then Four it's plus. the courage. So I, okay. I think. Correct us if we're wrong. I can't remember which one's which. Uh, we'll go with that, and then it's the last stand test on their morale, which is the three plus. Okay. Just one dive, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, they stick around. Okay. All right, so we'll do some movement and be right back. Okay, so there's not a whole awful lot I can do still. Um, this one transport turns its turret and is going to attempt to shoot in through there. And then the two that are on here are going to attempt to shoot them. Okay. And the two leopards are going to also shoot the hinds. Uh, and they don't. I don't know if they can shoot the hinds. Oh, they, well, they have, they got a top AA gun, which could be shooting. Maybe. But I'm not sure if it was in range. It'd be better to shoot. We'll the, look into that. If we yeah. if we can't, then they'll shoot at that same um, vehicle that vehicle. shot at them. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to do a little bit of measuring, but see if any of these guys can still shoot over here. All right. So we'll That's be uh, just might as well roll straight into Let's that. Get right actually. into it. Um, uh, so what's the stats on the martyr for its cannon? Martyr transport. Um, ROF. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, my brain is dead. Halted is three, moving is two. Okay, so you got three shots. Mm -hmm. And you hit me on fives, because I am, I believe, careful on him. Two hits. Okay, what's the AT? AT is seven. AT is seven, and my armor value on my front armor is probably not great. It's two, actually, so potentially. So I need fives, I think, to equal, which I won't, so firepower. Okay, and that's five plus. All no. right, he's bailed out. Okay, so then we got uh, your two jaguars. What's their red fire? Um, one. Okay, so uh, they'll be hitting my hinds on a four because they have rate of fire one, they add that plus one. Okay. Nope. All right. And then I know you've got the two MG teams in that platoon that can mm -hmm. shoot at my uh, infantry, but let's check the other platoon. They're 16 inch range. 16 inches, thank you. No. All right, so then we'll just, uh, let's let's do the three Milans. I'm assuming you're gonna wanna shoot them at my hinds. Sure. All right, so let's just roll all three Milans because there's two in the one platoon, one in the other. Just okay. one shot each, hitting on fours. One hit. One hit. And it saves. And then okay. you've got six shots from the MG3s here at my infantry over there, hitting on fives because I'm concealed. Oh, hitting on sixes because now I'm gone to ground. Right. One, one hit. One hit. Any team in particular? Uh, oh, shit. That one. Let's try and keep the swearing down. Sorry. Shoot. All right, and any team in particular? That one. All right, on a three plus. Saves, or doesn't save, sorry. So then a six of firepower to confirm the destroy. No. No. All right, any other shoots on? Um. Oh, the leopard one. Oh, yeah, we were going to shoot them. Uh, yeah, so the cannon's probably your best bet on the transport to try and yeah. get rid of it. Two I shots each. Oh, two shots each. Perfect. Hitting on fives because of concealment. One, one hit. hit, which goes straight to firepower. Okay, and it should be a three power. or two plus. It's on the. You who we oh, have right. it on the digital copy yeah, of the that's book. Correct. Um, two. Okay. You yeah, that's dead. All right, okay. so we'll mark that and be back with Soviet turn three. Okay, so starting step, unpin that platoon. Let's see if we can do it. They do it finally. Oh, and then one die for reserves. Shocking. But that's okay. I might actually win it on this turn. So uh, we will be back with movement. All right, so uh, I'm, I can't. I, I'm sorry for being so confident I was about to win. It's on or after turn six, so I got to wait out three turns once I kill that objective. But I should be able to do it. So we're, we're pretty sleep addled. We uh, our our little guy arrived two weeks ago, and we are yeah. sleeping like an hour a night. So apologies, moving guys. along. So we got some movement happening. Hines just shifted a little bit farther right in case the Fliegerfausts don't die. 
Uh, ESU-85 has moved up along with the infantry platoon to maneuver for the assaults. BMD has followed. This platoon is staying stationary. That platoon is staying stationary because they're dug in. Just going to leave those as blocking detachments for anything from over here trying to relieve this objective. Mm -hmm. So, we'll be back with some shooting. Alright, uh, so one other thing, because the Fliegerfausts are an attachment, they may have actually ran away when the Rolands died, but we're just rolling with it. So, I'm uh, going to shoot some AKs, moving red fire three. The yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, hitting on fives for three hits, three saves, please. Okay. Uh, uh, three up. One fail on a six plus. Nope. Okay, so then we got three ASU 85s shooting at them. Nope, but they are at least pinned again. Mm hmm. Uh, and then we got do to do nothing over here has line of sight because I didn't move these BMDs. RPGs don't have range, so just the two hinds will throw some more ATGMs. Oh, did I move too close to the leopards? Oops. He's just at eight inches to that one, and he's just at eight inches. Okay, so the green is the one that can only hit this tank. So we'll be hitting on fours. So the one tank and it's just straight firepower blows them up. Okay. And that'll be my turn of shooting because everything else is just going to get that gun to ground status and uh, we'll move into an assault. So All we'll right. mark and be right back. All right, probably the safest assault I've ever done because there is no defensive fire. We've uh, surrounded the platoon and we're demanding their honorable surrender, mm -hmm. uh, hitting them on a three plus and we uh, capture them. So uh, we'll consolidate and move into German turn three. All right, um, so I still have a bunch of things to remount. I have to do a last stand for that leopard. And then you got some and reserves. Then some reserves. Let's roll. All right. What's first? Um, we'll start over here, I suppose, with Jaguar. four. Yep. Finally. Gets in. Okay. And the two martyr, or martyrs. Yeah, martyrs, they're martyrs. Yep. Also with fours. No. Nope. No. And then last stand on the leopard one. Which I think was a three. Yeah. Yeah. He runs mm, away. He runs All away. Right. Oh, and then one die for reserves. Right. No. All right. We'll be back after movement. Realized I forgot to um, remount. To try and remount my Mars. Yeah. On four plus. On four. One, one remount. So they do not need. Oh no, they do still need to make a last stand because one of them's dead. And that was on a three plus, I believe. I believe so. Let me just, yeah. So they'll run away. Okay. okay. So now we'll be back with movement, if there is any. All right. Um, very little tiny bit of movement. Uh, the two transports over here just shuffled up to the road to provide a little bit of cover, fire, I guess. The one that is uh, not bailed out here moved up to the side of the road as well. And these three stands moved into the road to try and take some shots here and try and relieve that point. Okay. We'll uh, move, I guess, into shooting. Yep. All right. So shooting step. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to shoot on the hinds with the... Um, Jaguars? Jaguars. All right. Three shots. Hitting on fours. That'll count, that, I guess. That okay. One hit. Fails. Firepower. Um, what was its firepower again? Three plus. No, my hind. That's a hind down. Okay. All right, so uh, let's move along. We've got, you might as well do the three martyrs together. They are separate platoons, but I think you said you were there, you're gonna shoot the same target? Yeah. All right, so the, was right of fire two on the move? Yep. Hitting on fours, becoming fives for concealment, becoming six for conce uh, gone to ground. Okay, they're gonna shoot in here. Yep. One, One hit. hit. Fails, firepower. No. And then I think they were moving red fires too, so six shots. Same targets? Yep. So hitting on sixes. One, one. hit. Passes. And then last thing, we got the one Milan team that can shoot into my infantry transports over here. Might as well do it. Okay. Hitting on fours. One die sees? One die. Okay. Only one has, only uh, one. yeah, because the tree stand, only one has line of sight. It hits. Firepower. What's the Milan's firepower? Because I'm pretty sure it's AT is too high for me to stop. Where am it's I? It's on the uh, Panzer Grenadier platoon card. Um, 
the Panzer Grenadier platoon card. Oh God, yep. It's Sorry. Right over there. Um, Milan, three plus. And it's AT is above it. Eighteen, right? AT's twenty-one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, three plus to destroy. Bails out. All right, so we'll be back with I guess Soviet turn four. Wow, these turns are going really fast. They are. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so command step. We're gonna remount this transport here. He gets in, mm -hmm. and then we got two dice reserves, mm -hmm. and we still don't get a unit. That's okay. I think you're doing fine without them. For now. For now. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll be back after movement. All right, uh, so just trying to keep that pressure on. So we've done some movement here. Um, some of my infantry just kind of shuffled around in the objective here. The AGL came up on the hill to get some line of sight into them. Uh, RPGs took some cover, and the command team moved in there. Um, BMDs, they fell back to support this platoon better. They tried to dig in but failed. ASU swung over here, and that platoon's continuing to hold its ground. Um, and the Heinz are just kind of not... I, I forgot about oh, them. Oh, Hind. Oh, yeah. I forgot. That's why I forgot about them, because there should have only been one. So he's just going to stick around, hopefully. I uh, should actually roll for him. Yep, roll for him. He does not stick around, so he's uh, gone. He's I'm pretty sure Heinz are subject to last stand test, so... Bye, Hind. You did your job. You tried. He actually did pretty good. Better than they've ever done before. Fair enough. All right, so we'll uh, move on to shooting. Okay. Okay, so we're going to kick things off here with, actually, the transports here are going to shoot. I'm going to have his AGS-17 fire into, uh, into them, sorry. And we'll throw, you know what, let's throw some ATGMs into the martyrs. So we'll do them first, hitting on fours. Two hits. I believe their anti-tank is 19. Your front armor is not going to stop it. Uh, wait, do they have any special rules? Bazooka skirts? Mm, doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay, so just straight firepower on. Going to only really be on that one. And he's dead. Okay. And then we got... Uh, I forgot to check his stats for shooting. Just okay, so uh, ready to fire three when stationary. Hitting them on a four plus. Getting one hit, mm -hmm. three up safe. Good. All right. Uh, we got two AK teams here. They might have range. Yep. So six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hitting on fours. Three hits. So one hit each. Okay. Three up safe. Killing one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the AGS on the hill here. Same thing. Three shots. Moving red fire. Yeah, that was neat. Indeed. Uh, two hits. Kay. One hit each. Killing both. All right. And then the ASU 85s will then shoot at uh, those martyrs over there. Assuming they have range. Let me check and be right back. Okay, so 32 inches, uh, but the angles are a little weird. I'd maneuver them to be able to shoot here. So only three will have line of sight. Uh, we'll be shooting through the concealment, so hitting on a five for him. He hits. Actually hitting on a six, because I don't remember if they had uh, laser range finders listed. So the others hitting on fives. No, all right. So we'll move into so, uh, West German, turn four. Mm -hmm. Starting step, turn four. All right, so I have a couple of remounts to do. Uh, the Milans will need a last stand and then reserve die. All right, let's go through it. All right. Remounts so first. Remounts first. The two of those. One. One gets in. Actually, and that one actually, actually that's that your only remount, right? I think so. So then the last stand test. Okay. And the rally three. That's good. They stick around. All right. And then two dice for reserves. No. Okay. So uh, we'll be back with some shooting and maneuvering. All right. So a little bit of shuffling around. They fell back a little bit to give them a bit more options for shooting. Um, so they weren't blocking them with their butt. These guys actually managed to cross into the trees and moved up. Mm -hmm. um, but because they've moved this turn, they can't do well, anything, I believe. Blitzed. Oh, okay. Um, or not blitz, sorry. Um, terrain dash. The there terrain we go. Dash. Words. So they, they can't do anything anyways. Yeah. Um, but in a good position for next turn. Yes. 
And that's it. That That's all we did, I believe. All right. Uh, so we'll just roll into shooting. Uh, you've got three Milan teams that can fire on my ASUs, you said. Mm -hmm. That should just have enough range. I think we checked. Uh, so just roll them together. Just okay. one in one platoon, two in the other. Uh, hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. No, hitting on three is because those aren't VDB. All three. Or sorry, those aren't Afghansi. Uh, and then my front armor is five, so uh, firepowers. What's the firepower on the Milan? Uh, three plus. Okay. All three. We did. Okay. And then we got uh, moving rate of fire from the two martyrs on the infantry again, which I think was two shots each. But then you need sixes because they were yeah. Them, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So we'll mark my ASUs and be back with Sophie in turn five. All right. Uh, starting step. The only thing to do is roll three dice for reserves. I'll get one unit, and it randomly comes in from a table quarter somewhere. So uh, I'll do my T-64s, and then we'll come back with movement to let you know where it comes in. All right, uh, so T-64s, roll the five, and then crossed over the streamline there. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're in the flank. That's good for me. Mm -hmm. And the ASU-85s uh, just kind of moved. Shuffled up. Everything else is, again, just staying stationary. I'm in a good spot. Yep. I'm just going to have to keep holding out until that turn. Uh, six, which is soon. So uh, we'll move straight into shooting. We've got uh, four T-64s. They're going to shoot the two martyrs. Uh, hitting on fours. <laughs> one one hit, hit. And blow it up. Kay. So that will be one destroyed. Then we got two ASU-85s. They're going to shoot the uh, Jaguars. What's their yep. front armor? It's nine? Um, but, uh, yes. Okay, let's see if I hit you because I'm going to need a five. I don't. And we're going to throw some AT-21 shots at you, or AT-20 shots at you with some ATGMs hitting on fives. Two hits. Mm -hmm. uh, nine. Yeah, you can't stop it. Three at firepower. One destroyed. Okay. And I think that'll be it. So we'll move into... <laughs> I know these turns are really going fast. Just, there's not a lot I want to do. I just want to stay stationary with a lot of my stuff, just in case you get some reserves to get that concealed and gun to ground bonus. Yep. So we'll mark the two destroyed vehicles and move into turn five West Germans, which may be their last turn, hopefully. Okay, so um, you've got nothing. You got one bailed out tank, so let's mm -hmm. roll that. Yeah, he gets back in finally. Finally, um, gosh, guy. Roll three dice for reserves. You get two units. So okay. you've got a Leopard 2 and a Leopard 1. Those are probably your best bet. Mm -hmm. uh, so but let's see roll to see where... In. Let's do the Leopard 2 first. We'll okay. roll a die. One comes in on that corner. Two comes in the 16 inches of the table edge. Three is there. Four, five, and six, respectively. So one over here. All right, and then the Leopard 1 troop. Six over here. So, um... I will not be able to get... Yeah, even with its dash, it won't be able to get within eight inches. So, that... I surrender. Yeah, okay. Uh, VDV victory with air landing, even though we started with a really rough start there with being literally scattered across the table uh -huh. and losing some stuff right off the bat. Uh, pulled out a narrow victory for me. That was actually pretty cool. So, we'll be back that with a little really recap. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that was the... Uh, Red Dawn air landing mission adopted for the Western, oh, sorry, the European theater for our <coughs> Firestorm Stripes campaign. This was uh, the Soviets' first assault through there. Um, you'll, we'll, we'll get a little uh, news video for that that should go live around the same time as this. Uh, so look for that. Uh, but yeah, so um, right off the bat, I'm going to say uh, you want to build a list for this, both for the attacker and for the defender. Uh, we were a little hampered with what we had for the West Germans. Uh, we'll hopefully expand that soon. But we didn't have a lot of like strength on the ground because of that. Yeah. It wasn't easy to kind of defend both objectives at the same time. Um, and then for the attacker, you, you, ha you have to realize and have to plan for... I, I, again, I... That drift. Yeah. Just, I hadn't thought about it. I hadn't really read through the rules for it. Uh, but everything scattered way across the table. Like, I was literally on both ends All of the table. All over the place. And for me, everything starting bailed out or and pinned. Or pinned. Well, I, again, my stuff did too, because the wording in our, our preview copy of the book says, after the attacker deploys, everything on the table starts pinned and bailed out. Mm -hmm. I just have really good morale. 
So I was literally on everything almost the first turn, just back in. Whereas my you, last one got back in last turn. Yeah, on the, on the fifth turn. So yeah. that, that really did hamper you in your ability to defend along with not having enough stuff on the table. So yeah. our takeaway for this, definitely build your lists when you know if you're doing it. Build your list for the mission. Uh, that said, oh man, the VDV are exactly what I hoped for. They are tough, hard hitting, and fast. They don't have oh, a yeah. lot of support weapons, you know, heavy support weapons. Um, and the support we did take in the form of the T64s and the BAPs, well, we didn't even end up needing them. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're going to be a great addition to the lineup. And, uh, and yeah, you know, I'm going to have to get some more, get them on the table here. I want to be able to do the full companies rather than the Afghansi all the time. Although, I really like that 4 plus to hit. And it's so nice to have Soviet infantry that are 4 plus to hit finally. I've been waiting since literally, uh, what, 2015 is when the game came out? Something like that. Uh, the, the T80 Shock Company. I mm -hmm. love that thing. It's hard to use because T80s are so expensive. But again, that 4 plus to hit. Um, but yeah, what did you think, hon? <laughs> I... That was a game. That was... Well, that's fair. <laughs> it was a game. We it rolled It was dice. a game. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Hard game. Battered. It's a hard good. game. Um, yeah, my morale was was garbage the entire time. Mm -hmm. But it, I really, really loved the the mechanic for you landing and how, yeah, like it kind of holds to history that you know <laughs> air landings are usually pretty messy and mm -hmm. forces tend to get scattered a lot. And mm -hmm. that's been something that's been seen throughout history since air forces began in what the Second World War. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it was really cool to have that kind of mechanic added into the game and to see that that could absolutely make or break you. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely fair. Uh, and, and one thing you can do actually to counteract that air landing is you'll see in the book there are rules for which units can participate in a parachute landing. Um, the Soviets can take the, the BMD companies that we did and they can parachute in with all of their support elements, including vehicles. O or you could take the helicopters. Uh, if you take your helicopter troops, which will be a good for the Americans because they have a lot of troops that are mounted in helicopters, uh, the helicopters will literally fly on. So you have a little bit more control as to where they go and it'll be turn one arrival. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, no, absolutely. Not being able to guarantee where you guys are going to be was a big thing for any, and is still a big thing. Uh, I mean, modern air landings are probably a little bit more, you know, organized, at least for the West. Tell us if, uh, if you've ever done an air landing. Yeah, no, we'd love to know if you guys have ever been a parachutist and have participated in, you know, mock parachute landings or have done anything like that, please. Yep. Share your or experience or down below. landings or um, just... just I know for me, Tell with my knees it. already being as bad as they are, I'm probably never going to do parachute school. So uh, plus, you don't you don't do heights. You go up I a really ladder don't. and get nervous. Why would I jump out of a perfectly working plane? Yeah, I'm not going to say anything else because, yeah. anyways. <laughs> um, so that was our again. That was our first game in our Firestorm Stripes campaign. We hope you enjoyed it, guys. Yeah, check us out on our social medias. As always, we got Discord, Facebook, Instagram. TikTok, sort of. Yeah, we hardly ever use it. Yeah. Uh, and we do have a Patreon if you want to support us there. You don't have to. We have a 5 and a $10 tier Canadian, so it's actually less if you're outside of Canada. Um, feel free to check it out. Links will be below. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely follow us on Facebook, though. Uh, and, you know, we're pulling for you. Keep your sticks on the ice. Okay, nice.